Hello and welcome to Enots Engineering, I'm Alan. This video is part two of making a tap guide that fits in the lathe tailstock. It locates in the center of the tap and guides a tap when tapping a part held in the chuck. This design is based around the spring taken from a liquid soap dispenser. These pump type dispensers have different spring sizes but you can modify the design to fit the spring that you have in the dispenser. This is the finished item. So let's go into the workshop and see how we make it. This is a piece of silver steel held in the 3-jaw chuck. I've just faced the end off. It's sticking out this far because I want to turn the whole length down to 8mm. I don't want to move it in the chuck once I've started. So this end I'm going to put a centre drill in to steady it. And also the centre drill part will be the female end of the tap support. Now I've gone deeper than I would normally do. That's so if you get a tap like this it will support the end. Use a centre on here, revolving centre, and turn the outside down. Gonna give me about 50 millimeters. Point three one seven. This bit's not that critical because it's only the centre piece that I need at 8mm. The main thing is that it goes in this hole, which it does. I'll leave it at that size. What I'll do is come in 25mm and reduce the diameter down another 2mm. problem there that the revolving center is too big and the lathe tool hits the center so I can't go down any further so what I'm going to do is make a temporary center to get over the problem I've held a piece of steel in the ER20 collet on my grinding fixture and now I'm going to grind a center using the grinding fixture I've just machined the other end. And on this end I want to form a 30 degree chamfer to form a point. Now if you're wondering where you can get a spring for this project, try looking at your soap dispenser because they have different size springs inside. So I'll flat end on the spring 
on this spring it's got a smaller coil wrapped around so I'm just grinding off the first coil This is my die guide that goes in the tailstock. Morse taper on this end, parallel piece on that end. And what we did was drill a hole and bore a hole out in the end of the die guide. Then we made this bush, which is a six millimeter hole straight through. Then we opened it up into an eight millimeter hole. And the last bit was a 10 millimeter hole so there's three different bore sizes in there slide fits into the end of the die guide this spring I've just ground the ends of the spring so it's flat and taken off the last coil which was wound round inside the spring will fit into the 8 millimeter bore we've made this which is an 8 millimeter rod in the middle with a 6mm diameter at each end, a point on that end, and on this end, a centre drill hole. So this can go either way into the device. So what we will do is we put the this in that way. You can see with the spring in there, this slides over the spring, and then this is spring loaded and moves up and down. And then the cap that we made goes over the end, fits in there. So all we need to do to this is drill a hole through the side, tap it and put a screw in just to stop the cap coming out. And that's finished. Then that will slide into this. We don't need to put anything to hold it or to stop it twisting because when this comes up to the back of a tap, that will fit in the hole and put some spring pressure on. That's the die holder guide bar which we drilled and bored out on the end. That goes in the tailstock. Normally if I'm using a die, I'll put the die in the holder. That goes on here and it will slide in and out. And also to thread a longer piece of bar, the hole in the end lets the bar go through into the die holder. So you can thread up to two inches. So now you want to do a tapped hole. Select your tap. On this tap it's got a centre in the end. So you take the adapter we've just made. That's a, I'm going to put a grub screw in there but I've got this cap head for now. It's already got the wrong centre in there. That's um, for a, a male. So you take the cover off the end. Turn it round to the pointed part. Put the cover back on. You can tighten that by hand, it doesn't need any, any force really, it's just to stop the spring coming out and the parts coming out. Return this into your holder. Put the tap in the hole, bring the holder in the end, and you'll see here, as I turn it in, the plunger goes into the bar. And then that's spring loaded. So as I tap the thread and the thread goes in, the plunger will come out and you can always wind this in a bit further if you need more tension. And if you have taps that have got the male end, you just swap the plunger around and use the cone. Here are some details of the parts used. Oh well, that's it for today. I hope that information is useful to you and we'll see you next time on Enots Engineering.